one thing that you know that it's ready to pan to see how it's uh, separated now. Oh, yeah. The gap yeah. Between those two, so that's good. And then um, I just shut it off. So when you shut it off, this vent valve will shut off also. Okay. So no more nitrogen coming in. So what I like to do is to put a union, and this union will allow it to have nitrogen flooding the instrument all the time while I'm So you circumvent the valve, the, the, yeah, the vent valve, because valve. it shuts off. Yeah, got it. Right. So now we got nitrogen. That's really and that just good helps to pump it down. When pump it pump down. It will pump down a lot faster. Okay. So now I'm just going to tear this apart, take the covers off first, put the vent valve, set it off, of course. And now just take the source off and the cover. Okay, so this sword comes on. Whatever sword you have on there, you have the yeah. AJS or this one. And then um, cover. Should I move this out of the way? Would that help? Um, or? It's really not in my way. Okay, maybe I'll just turn it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely, yeah. but it, I think it's in your way. <laughs> there we go. There. So this one only has three screws on it. And there are some things that um, stick out of it, like this one. We have to feed through, and this one here is just waste. Okay. But we really don't need to take it all the way out. Okay. Just lay it over there. Okay, so that cover comes off, and it, you have access to a lot of stuff now. So this is the AUX mod, A U X mod. Okay. So there's uh, just a few connections. One, two, three, four. This one. And then this one here is very, when I put it back together, it's kind of, it's easy to forget this one. Okay. I've done it a lot. And then this, unscrew this. So and how this many was that together? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Four, five, six. Okay. And then a screw. Okay. So that will just come right off. Okay. So the odd mod comes off. And now the, um, I guess the, there's a desolvation chamber uh -huh. right here. Right. And then there's the uh, ion funnel. So let's take off the desolvation chamber first. Okay. So we have this big tubing here. And this uh, heater connector. Take this uh, nitrogen off, 9 16th wrench. Okay, so that comes off. And um, now we'll be able to take uh, take this off. Two screws. One, two. Okay, so that's the desolvation chamber there. Okay. Can look inside here. It's not, it's not too bad. Okay, that's the capillary? Yep, that's the capillary. Oops. Okay, so desolvation chamber can go... Okay. Okay, now the ion funnel comes off. So you got uh, one of the vacuum lines that needs to get taken off probably good to put this on first before you put that on. 
okay. where we put it all back together. So you, it's just a little bit easier access. All right, so that one, and we have a couple of uh, connectors. screws for this one also. This one. And this one. Then this whole thing comes out. So this is the iron tunnel. Iron tunnel. So we're not going to do a whole lot with these ones. Okay. This is the one that I really want to uh, clean. Okay, so this this whole top comes off also. This is the um, the one that turns the uh, slicer okay. positioning. So this is easy to forget also. The slicer positioning, if, if you turn it on and... Um, this will error that the slicer positioning errors out, you're dead in the water. Okay. This will not start up again. So before you start pumping it down, we have to turn a little uh, like a belt inside okay. of it. But I'll show you what I mean. It has to fit. There's a couple of gears that have to fit together. So I'll take that off. Here's the belt. Oh, okay. So this one couples, and then if it's misaligned, then you've got to move it until it lines up. Okay. I'll take that off. Uh, and what do you call this whole assembly? Uh, this is just the, the uh, this part here. Yeah. It's just the top plate. Okay. But this is the slicer. Slicer. Yeah. Uh, movement. So it moves the slicer back and forth. And that's for the mass spec mass spec. What's that? To select ions. The uh, slicer or the slicer pancakes the ions so that they're nice and flat. Right. Fast. Okay. It's a very important part of the whole thing, everything. Okay, so this part here has to couple get, with that I part. I see, yeah, like get and if it's, yeah, lined it's up. It's got to be yeah. lined up. Okay, so this is the one that we really want to get to here. So green on top, black on the bottom. Kind of like a tree, so okay. the leaves are on top. So there's just three connectors. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. And then we'll pop this guy off. Wait, where was the third? I didn't see the third. Oh, the this thing. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this down. Um, there are it. Lint three cloth. I'll just put this one back on top. Okay. But when we put it on for real, put it back on top. And line it up. Right. Make sure it drops down and then this one. Just make sure it's Move firm. until it's seated. Yeah. Yeah. So it's seated. Okay. okay. Something like that. Alright. Oh, let me untangle this. Oh. Okay. Look at all the other side. Let's grab the other Okay, 
Okay, so we've got some, um, these are the lenses that uh, we'll go ahead and take these lenses apart. Okay, so here's a couple of screws. Okay. Right here, the red one, pop that off. And the white one here. Take that one off. Okay. Sometimes it's good to use a right off. Like a needle nose pliers. Okay. So the white one's on the right. The, and the red one's in the front. Right. The longer wire we go to the back. Okay. The shorter one goes. Okay. Now we have, we'll clean this with Alphanox. Okay. And same with uh, these also. Can you tell visibly if they're dirty? No. no. Very difficult. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then let's pop this off. And um, two screws here. You just have to be real careful with these rods. They're a little bit fragile. And those are like a continuation from the capillary? The, or no? Um, the no. rods are, they're just charged? Yeah, these are... Um, Mostly for the lower mass ions, for okay. the octopole. Okay. The higher mass ions can fly through these rods a lot easier, but the lower mass tends to kind of dissipate, so this okay. will focus it okay. a lot better. But it's uh, they all pass through these lenses. Okay. What are the lenses made out of? Uh, pretty high stainless steel. Okay. But these are coated. I think these are gold uh, okay. plated. All right, so we'll clean these two and clean this one. Okay. And then, um, okay. And this one too. So I'll use uh, Alkanox and then wash yeah. these off like. Uh, like Do we uh, have that? Right? Yeah. Yeah, right there in that small white bottle. Yeah. This one. Uh, okay. And then I'll bring this over and we'll wash this with. Um, Ethanol? Solvents. Okay. Yeah, clean solvents like methanol. Methanol? Yeah. Uh, IPA, we can use IPA first. Okay. And then methanol. Okay. And then blow it off really good with nitrogen. Okay. Same with this. And we'll clean this one too with uh, solvents. Okay. All right? Okay. Yeah. 